Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We are here with our baby Rexes today. They are two weeks old and they are pretty dang adorable. So some of them are starting to open their eyes. So this one's not. Tequila, you're not helping. Can't see. So that one doesn't have open eyes, but this one does. So right around the two week mark between weeks two and three is when they do start opening their eyes. So, yeah. Eee, open eyes. So we do still have nine babies total. <laughs> Whoa, tequila's knocking a camera over. This is my favorite. And they're all doing really, really well. And tequila's still knocking the camera over. But uh, yes, so there are nine and they're kind of squished in this box because Rowan is cleaning their pen. So they're a little bit squished. And they're still very popcorn-y. This one has its eyes open. Not all of them do, and that's okay. That's normal for some of them to take a little bit longer. But they are happy. They are healthy. They are really, really wonderful. So on the breeding side of things, we are expecting a Gemini litter right around the end of April, maybe the very beginning of May. Uh, she tends to kindle pretty exactly on day 30. So I would expect... Right around the end of April. But, uh, <laughs> we are expecting more Rex babies. Um, hopefully, when are we expecting Rex babies? Middle of May, I believe. And more lot babies, end of April, and then middle of May. Because I've bred both of my girls. Hi. And everyone is perfectly happy and healthy. Okay, they are very, very springy, very, very cute. Tequila is very interested in them. <laughs> she thinks they're the funniest little babies. But yes, hi, little one. This one doesn't have its eyes open yet. If you're wondering if this one's still so jumpy, it's because this one can't see yet. Okay, so this one doesn't really know. But the ones that do have their eyes open are very, very friendly. And they are doing very well. So these are Rexes. So they have this really plush, velvety fur. That's kind of the hallmark of a Rex is that fur. And this one is a black otter, by the way. If you take a look, you can see the brown around the ears and in between the ears. So we have, and the brown markings on the nose, that is a black otter. In fact, there's a few black otters. So this one's a black otter as well. You can see the markings. Okay, so that's a black otter. These darker ones are going to look like their papa. Yes, you're good. Yes, you're good. So they'll look like their papa. The one I'm most interested in for color is this one because it's lighter than its siblings. And I really enjoy lighter colors. But this is a darker colored litter. I know in the past we've usually bred a lot of lighter colored litters. But we are breeding darker colors right now with the Rexes. Because apparently because tequila wants us to. Hi. <laughs> are they your babies? Yes, tequila is very protective of the babies. So <laughs> it's her job to monitor baby activity around here. So that's the job she applied for, and she uh, got it with flying colors. Yes, baby, I know. You're the most beautiful girl. Yes, you want all the babies. Yeah. So the Rexes are doing really well for the couple of people who asked. Actually, several people asked how the Rexes are doing, because I didn't film them on the weekend, and I know I usually do. Hi, little one. But they are doing very well. The most important thing at this stage as their eyes start to open is that you handle them a lot, okay? Lots of touching, lots of stroking. Be very gentle, obviously. They're babies, but you want to be touching them a lot just so that they get to know you. And because as they open their eyes, it's really easy for them to get scared of the world. And it's not a good idea 
to let them be afraid of everything. So as their eyes are opening and they're starting to see their world for the first time, if they see you and you're touching them, then they learn that you're nothing to be afraid of. And they do at least look like bunnies now instead of looking like little rats. <laughs> okay, so they do look like bunnies. And they're even starting to stand up a little bit. Bouncy, bouncy bunnies. There you go. So now at least we're looking like bunnies and not drown rats. And they do have a decent amount of fur on them. So we will be moving them outside probably on the weekend. Uh, partially because we don't really have a ton of space inside for a group of nine babies and their mom. Because as soon as these guys really start moving around, they are going to need more space. So as soon as we move them outdoors uh, into a pen, I will absolutely show you. And... <laughs> sweetie yeah hi but I will absolutely show you when we bring them outside because there's tequila again <laughs> yeah hi baby <laughs> hi she loves babies <laughs> but um I will absolutely show you when we move them outside because that's always exciting usually our rexes are born outside but not this time it was just too cold it was well below freezing and we didn't want <laughs> anybody to freeze. That This is our most active. This little black. Hi. There's Aquila. Woo! <laughs> They're very active. Good girl, Tequila. Yes, good girl. This is why it's important that you raise your livestock guardians right around the livestock that you are intending to raise because... You don't want any accidents, so it's important that she has exposure to the babies really early so she understands they're not snacks, they're friends. <laughs> anyway, that is about it for us here today at Anderson Acres, and uh, Tequila is very much in babysitting mode as Rowan cleans their pen. That's her job, okay? Her job is a baby's. Anyway, that is about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. Join us again. We will keep tabs on these little guys. And throughout the season, I will show you the newer litters. That's it for us. We'll see you tomorrow.